Hey, this is SJM4306, and I just want to give you guys an update on one of my most recent projects. Basically, you've seen my two iterations of POV projects in the past, but the newest one that I'm trying to make, instead of using a rotating disc, will use a wand that oscillates. <laughs> now, this circuit, all it does is it's a PIC16F887. I know it's a bit overkill. This is just for demonstration purposes. It'll flash an LED and pulse a MOSFET, which will drive these two coils, um, one above and one below the magnet that's mounted on the armature, and they're wired in parallel so that it'll give it a kick. And if I hit the right frequency, this there's a little potentiometer here that you can use to adjust the frequency of the output. And thus, if you hit natural resonance of this mechanical system, it'll it'll oscillate, you know, with large magnitude. So let's power it up. See, it's just going pretty slow. You can actually tune it to large amplitude oscillation if you get it just right. It takes a little effort, but just gotta wait for the transients to die down. You can see it kind of goes a little bit crazy. This is tuned to resonance and it's hitting on the side there. Let's turn it down just a hair. Not that much. There we go. And as you can see, you get large oscillation. And, you know, it's just giving the magnet a little kick to reinsert energy. And the restoring force of this little uh, piece of metal there is what's returning it to its original uh, position. And you can see the LED on the output flashing in synchronization with the kicks that it gives the electromagnets. And this is generally how most motors work. But I thought that this would be, you know, a cool video to make to show you guys that what I've been working on, you know, is actually working. Next step, let's shut this guy down, is to attach um, LEDs to the end of here, a string of eight LEDs. I'm going to run the wire down. This is a little plastic tubing. Run the wires down the tube, down to here to the microcontroller, so that I can actually flash out messages as it sweeps. I'm going to probably test it out um, as it's going, you know, from left to right sweeping. I might, if I only do it from left to right, then I might need to, um, you know, the refresh rate might be too low and so it'll appear flickery. So I might actually have to invert the message and when it's going from the opposite way from, you know, right to left as opposed to left to right, then I would have to display the message backwards in order to double the refresh rate. But, um... I'll worry about that next week. I'm just trying to get all the hardware done right now so I can just play with software next week. So I'll give you guys an update then, but, you know, making progress. See you guys later.